the great mechanical clocks of the medieval European towns were intensely public structures. From Bern across the whole of Europe, the clocks of the cities taught their citizens lessons in morality and virtue. But all that was soon to change, and to change really dramatically, these automata would become private. Mechanical theatres that showed the universe and the world to the few princes and rulers who governed them. One of the largest and most spectacular of these new private automata was built in the 1740s in the rich and prosperous town of Salzburg in Austria. It would be created especially for the Hellbrunn Palace, a fabulously extravagant summer retreat designed to satisfy the private pleasures of the ruling classes. This was a place of lavish excess, its gardens filled with strange devices designed to entertain and titillate. But one machine surpassed them all in scale, ambition and technical sophistication. An automaton in the form of an entire working city. The automaton was commissioned in the 1740s by this man, Archbishop Jakob von Dietrichstein. For him, the machine was the vision of a perfect society. A city populated by well-behaved, obedient, automaton subjects. The magnificent mechanical theatre. Imagine that you were a member of the privileged audience here, invited by the prince to see this extraordinary automaton, this amazing spectacle. What you're looking at is a harmonious, orderly and entertaining vision of the way the city works, or rather, the way the city should work. As the machine comes to life, Almost 200 figurines begin to move. The city becomes a kind of vast mechanical opera. Beneath, water pressure turns a wheel that is connected via a series of gears to the entire machine. Here, this metalwork acts like a set of instructions, guiding each of the figures to perform their actions at different intervals. Above the mechanism, the workers execute their tasks perfectly, mechanically, automatically. Meanwhile, an elegant and aristocratic audience keeps watch with the most minimal of movement. This is a prince's vision of a utopian society. But there's a darker side to this seductive spectacle. The machine that runs the theatre was designed and built by a salt miner, Lorenz Rosenegger. The salt miners generated the wealth on which the city relied and which funded this machine. But the salt miners 
were radicals, insurrectionaries, many of them Protestants. A decade before this theatre was built, almost all the Protestants in Salzburg had been expelled by the order of its ruler. Rosenegger indeed conducted the work on this theatre under armed guard to keep him at his job. It was a technical masterpiece, but for the salt miners, it was a machine that represented the tyrannic power that ruled them. The Helbrun Mechanical Theatre perfectly encapsulates the contradiction at the heart of all 18th century automata. These were machines built as entertainment for a fabulously wealthy court society. But their mechanical ingenuity, their artfully carved exteriors, their very soul came from poorly paid artisan workers. What's more, the creativity of those workers would revolutionize the automata so beloved by the aristocracy. <laughs> 